रोती झिझकीला रोता था आसमां खाके तमाचे शिव से कहनों से घूम रहा जिंदा में अकेली बैठी सोचती रही बाबा भी मेरा न रहा और हाय भाई जवान जाफर असीरी पे तेरी हमें है मान नकवी साहब करना क्या मूसा इबन जाफर असीरी पे तेरी हमें है मान मगर तुमने सकीना के नहीं देखे जजी का उस मासूम सी बच्ची की इतनी सी खता थी कि दिखाना चाहती थी बाबा को मुंह पे लगे सुर्ख मुंह पे लगे सुर्ख निशान सलाह पर मोहम्मद वाले लिखा है आज हैदर रजवी साहब ने जरूर पढ़े मैं सलाम पेश करता हूँ मर के बिना जिंदा से निकल पाई सकीना बाबा की जो अपने थी वो शहदाई सकीना बीबी जरा उठो तो सही आंख तो खोलो माँ जहरा तुम्हें लेने को है आई सकीना बिस्मिल्लाह ना गुसलो कफन तुमको मिला कहते थे आगिर ना गुसलो कफन तुमको मिला कहते थे आगिर मजबूर है जिंदा में तेरा भाई सकीना हाँ। इस कर्म को बस एक मैं ही समझता हूँ बीबी मैयत तेरी जिस तरह से दफना ही सकीना फुरकत में तुम्हारी ये जिए किस तरह मादर इस कैद सितम में तुम्हें मौत आई सकीना इस तरह से छंदी है तेरी माँ का गले इस तरह से छंदी है तेरी माँ को समय जा जिस तरह से अकबर ने सना खाई है इस तरह वतन जाऊंगी ये कैसी छिपानो इस तरह वतन जाऊंगी ये कैसी छिपानो बाबा है न अम्मू न तेरे भाई सकीना मतलब है मतल सकीना को बस एक बात का गम था मतल सकीना को बस एक बात का गम था बेशी को पानी न पिला पाई सकी मर के भी जिंदा से निकल पाई सकीना बाबा की जो अपने थी वो शहदाई सकीना
میں حکیم دی کریم دی عبادت بحق محمد و آل محمد میرا مالک آپ کی عبادت آج قبول کے مقبول فرمائے الہ آمین جنہیں مومن بیمار ہیں صدقہ حسین علیہ السلام دیا مسیبتہ دا میرا مالک ہوں جو سیدھ کاملہ و اجلاتا فرمائے الہ آمین میرا خیال ہے اے مجلس اس سال سواب اس نے منقل کی تھی گئی ہے جنہیں بھی حضرات میرے کو کوئی ڈیٹیل نہیں ہے بہرحال تصور شاہ صاحب دے مرحومین سید فریاد و شاہ صاحب دی آلیہ حسن دیا تو پھر گئے میں سارے وقت سے دعا کردہ ہوں پروردگار انہوں نے جنت دے وچ آلہ مقام عطا فرمائے اللہ حیاء انہوں نے سمیرہ کبیرہ انہوں نے معاف فرمائے اللہ حیاء میرا سونا مالک انہوں نے قبرہ انہوں نے منفر فرمائے اللہ حیاء میری ہمشیرہ اس دنیا پر ضرور کے وفات پا چکے ہیں مالک انہوں نے قریق رحمت کرے اللہ حیاء سوائے ہمیں آلے بیت دے ہو کام نہ دیکھو سلوات کھل دے اللہ مجلس پڑھی ہے کل میرے استاد جی تھا کوئی نہیں سی تو میں بھی پنجی منٹ پڑھی ہے تو انہوں نے جنت نہیں کہ میں انہوں نے عبادت میں چھائل ہوا تو میں بڑے چند منٹ ذکر فضائل اس نے بھی چند منٹ ذکر مسائب تو اس نے بھی دعا اسی سلوات پڑھو محمد وآلہ اللہ اللہ صلی اللہ محمد وآلہ محمد میں تبرکن اپنے معزز سامین کے سامنے ہی قصیدہ یہ میں پڑھے آیا کل یا پرسوں جہاں پرسوں پڑھے آیا کہ کیونکہ تھوڑے جو لوگ آیا آج کوئی تھوڑے جو نوے چہرے ماشاءاللہ تشریف فرما دی تو میرا دلے میں آج بھی ہو تبرکن حکت شیخ جناب دی حضمت پیش کرا سلوات پڑھو محمد وآلہ اللہ اللہ صلی اللہ محمد وآلہ محمد اگر تخریف نہ سمجھو تو ایک دفعہ ود بھی درود آکھو بلند وآلہ اللہ جس نے شبیر سے وفا کی ہے اس کی مرضی بھی اب خدا کی ہے سبحان اللہ جس نے شبیر سے وفا کی ہے اس کی مرضی بھی اب خدا کی ہے اتنی قیمت نہ تھی فراد تیری جتنی عباس نے ادا بڑی مہربانی کبلا میں بڑی جلدی نام گزر رہے ہیں میں ہمیشہ حسب معمول چانا کہ اپنی نوکری میں جلدی تو جلدی عطا کروں بادشاہ بے شمار گزرے ہیں زمانے میں شاہ صاحب بادشاہ بے شمار گزرے ہیں زمانے میں کسی نے باغ کسی نے زمین بیجی ہے مگر یہ فخر ہے مولا تیرے ملنگوں کو زمین پہ بیٹھ کے خرد بری بیجی ہے اللہم صلی اللہ محمد سلوات پڑھو محمد و آل محمد اللہم صلی اللہ محمد و آل محمد سرور تو نین ویک کے تھر گئے نین ویک کے اللہ سرور تو نین ویک کے تھر گئے نین ویک کے اللہ سرور تو نین ویک کے
ਤੁਸੀਂ ਬਹੁਤ ਸੋਹਣਾ ਜਿੱਤ ਫਰਮਾ ਰਹੇ ਹੋ ਮੈਂ ਇੰਤਜ਼ਾਰ ਨਾ ਕਰਾਂ ਹਸਬੇ ਮਾਮੂਲ ਮੈਂ ਫਜ਼ਾਇਲ ਛੋੜ ਕੇ ਤੇ ਇੱਕ ਦੁੱਖ ਦੀ ਕਹਾਣੀ ਦਾ ਆਗਾਜ਼ ਸ਼ੁਰੂ ਕਰਦਾ ਤੇ ਬੜੇ ਅਦਬ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਬੰਦ ਪੜਨਾ ਚਾਹਾਂ ਮੈਂ ਉਸ ਵੇ ਉਸ ਸੈਂਡ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਿਕਰ ਹਮੇਸ਼ਾ ਕਰਦਾ ਕਿ ਇਸ ਮੇਰੀ ਸੈਂਡ ਨੇ ਬੜੀਆਂ ਤਕਲੀਫਾਂ ਉਠਾਈਆਂ ਮੁਸਾਫਰਾਏ ਸ਼ਾਮ ਬੜੇ ਅਦਬ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਹੰਝੂ ਆ ਵੰਜੇ ਤੇ ਜੰਨਤ ਵਾਜਬ ਹੋ ਗਈ ਇਹ ਸਾਡਾ ਈਮਾਨ ਹੈ ਬਹਰਹਾਲ ਬੜੇ ਅਦਬ ਨਾਲ ਇੱਕ ਬਾਤ ਪੜਨਾ ਚਾਹਨਾ ਹਰ ਮਜਲਿਸ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਆਦਾ ਨਾ ਕਿਬਲਾ ਨਾ ਮੈਂ ਜ਼ਾਕਿਰਾ ਨਾ ਮੇਰੀ ਜੁਰਤ ਤੇ ਮੈਂ ਇਮਾਮ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਦਾ ਜ਼ਾਕਰ ਸਲਾਮਾ ਅਗਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਮੌਲਾ ਦਾ ਕੋਈ ਜ਼ਾਕਰ ਹਾਈ ਤਾਂ ਉਹ ਪੁੱਤਰ ਹਾਈ ਜਿਹੜਾ 40 ਸਾਲ ਖੂਨ ਰੋ ਕੇ ਬਾਬੇ ਦੀ ਜ਼ਾਕਰੀ ਕਰ ਗਿਆ ਅਗਰ ਮੇਰੇ ਮੌਲਾ ਦੀ ਕੋਈ ਜ਼ਾਕਰ ਹਾਈ ਤੇ ਉਹ ਭੇੜ ਹਾਈ ਜਿਹੜੀ ਬਾਜ਼ਾਰ ਦਰਬਾਰਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਖੁੱਦ ਚੜ ਪੜ ਕੇ ਦੱਸ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਮੈਂ ਅਭੀ ਬਾਗੀ ਦੀ ਨਮਾਜ਼ੀ ਜਦੋਂ ਚੱਲ ਕੇ ਪੱਕੀਏ
بسم اللہ بسم اللہ بسم اللہ استاد ہیں بہترین اندار میں نوا خانی بے شک بے شک ان شاء اللہ حق ادا کیا انتہائی سادہ انداز میں پڑا کرتے ہیں اور ان کے نوحوں میں بھی آپ نے دیکھا کہ وہ لہر استعمال کرتے ہیں جس کا تر تعلق درد سے بسم اللہ بسم اللہ دکھ سے پاکستان سے تفریح فرما ہے ملک میں ان کے پردے دار ان کے لئے آسانی عطا فرما ہے ملک میں پاکستان میں سیدہ زہرہ کے مشیر ہیں یہاں پہ اپنا نظام نوحہ لے کے آتے ہیں گزارش کروں گا کہ رونک پہ میں بنو نظام ایک عدد پیش کریں ہم بھی مسلم کو ان کے نوازے کی اس عظیم قربانی پر دودھ پڑھئے بنو اللہ صلی اللہ محمد و آل محمد
الذي لا يدركه بعد الهمم ولا يناله غوص الفطن الذي ليس لصفته حد محدود ولا نعت موجود ولا وقت معدود ولا أجل ممدود بسم الله بسم الله فتر الخلائق بقدرته ونشر الرياح برحمته ووتد بالسكور ميادان أرضه والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين وخاتم النبيين الذي سمي في السماء بأحمد وفي الأرض باب القاسم المحمد الله صل على محمد وآل محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المظلومين واللعنة الدائمة أجمعين من الأولين والآخرين آمين يا رب العالمين قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في القرآن المجيد وفرقان الحميد وقوله الحق بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم هل يستوي الذين يعلمون والذين لا يعلمون إنما يتذكر أولو الألباب صدق الله العلي العظيم صلوات بر محمد وآل محمد اللهم صل على محمد وآل محمد Respected elders, brothers, sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Inshallah I've been requested to recite English majlis after me there will be inshallah udu as well A few words in honor of Ahlul Bayt and Masaib of Lady Sakina. I pray that Allah accepts our amal, our ibadat in the holy month of Muharram and Safar and the tears that we shed for Sayyidu Shuhada alayhi salam. And that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts from us whatever we do in the way of Aba Abdullah Hussain, whether it be helping in the mosques, whether it be reciting Noha, Qasida, Marsiya, Manqabat, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, the ayah that I recited, Hal yastawi alladheena ya'lamoona walladheena la ya'lamoon? Allah is asking a question. Do you consider those that know equal to those that do not know? Wah, subhanallah, wah. Hal yastawi alladheena ya'lamoona walladheena la ya'lamoon? Those that know, those that have ilm, alladheena ya'lamoon. Allah is asking a question. Do you consider them equal to those walladheena la ya'lamoon? Wah. To those that do not know? Allah is asking a few questions in the Quran. Allah is making a distinction. أَفَمَنْ كَانَ مُؤْمِنْ كَمَنْ كَانَ فَاسِقْ Do you consider the mu'min at the same level as a fasid? No. أَلَّذِينَ هَلْ يَسْتَوِيَ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ In other words, do you consider an alim at the same level as a jahil? Or do you consider a jahil at the same level as a alim? Allah says there is a clear distinction between the two. أَفَمَنْ كَانَ مُؤْمِنْ كَمَنْ كَانَ فَاسِقْ Is the mu'min at the same level as the fasiq? لا يستوي Allah says what is wrong with you? They are not equal. Subhanallah. The mu'min is not equal to the fasiq. The shak. The alim is not equal to the jahil. There is a clear distinction between the two. One has a maqam with Allah. One has a station with God. Whereas the other one does not occupy any station at all. No. Is the mu'min at the same level as a fasiq? They are not the equal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us in the Quran. Do not consider the mu'mineen at the same level as the fasiqeen. Do not consider fasiqeen at the same level as the mu'mineen. For Allah has sent special barakah on the mu'mineen. Allah has sent special a'ta upon the mu'mineen. In the same way, Allah says those that know, in other words, those that have ilm, ulama, hal yastawi alladheena ya'lamoon, those that know are not at the same level as juhala. For there is a distinction. What is the distinction? 
العلم اها لايت بسم الله العلم والنور ان علم نوليدج از نور اني هارت ذات بوزيسز ذات نوليدج ذات علم ميكس ذا هارت منور ات انلايتنز ذا هارت فور واي بيكوز ذا هولي بروفيت سيد العلم والنور سبحان الله نوليدج از لايت العقل والنور عقل از لايت Anyone possessing that will have a heart and mind which is munawwar, which is enlightened because of the ilm. Subhanallah. Mashallah. Mashallah. Hence, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is saying the ulama or those that know, those that possess ilm are not at the same level as those that do not have ilm. The mu'min is not at the mu'min is not at the same level as the munafiq. The mu'min occupies a higher station. Why? Because the mu'min has wilayah. Wilayah of Ahlul Bayt is a light which enlightens or makes the heart of the mu'min munawwar. Hence Allah says, look, consider the mu'min at the same level as a fasiq. Salawat ala Muhammad. Salli ala Muhammad ibali Muhammad. Now, I come to my main topic. Why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make a distinction in the Holy Quran? Because people would always try to bring the level of a mu'min and a munafiq together. No. Mu'min and a fasiq were always put on the same level. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala until the day of judgment leaves a clear line that divides both mu'min and oh, munafiq. Amen. Mu'min and fasiq. fasiq. How? Because we find in the tarikh, we find in the history, many people would try to bring other people at the same level of Ahlul Bayt. Wow. Many people would try to join other people to Ahlul Bayt. So and so is in Ahlul Bayt. So and so is in Ahlul Bayt. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes a distinction that wherever you find ilm, wherever you find nifaq, they cannot occupy the same level. Ahlul Bayt possess ilm that was connected with the ilm of Allah wa ta'ala. Ahlul Bayt possess knowledge which was connected with the knowledge of the Absolute God. Hence, Ahlul Bayt's ilm is known as Al-Ilm Al-Mutlaq. Allah makes that distinction because Banu Umayyah Banu Umayya was always trying to ridicule and lower Banu Hashim. They were trying to destroy this distinction, this divide that exists between Banu Umayya and Banu Abbas. Banu Umayya, as we know, were always jealous of Banu Hashim. Why? Because every good quality, every good virtue and merit that existed within Banu Hashim lacked in Banu Umayyah. Or they had a total opposite. Banu Hashim were known for their ilm, their knowledge. Banu Umayyah were known for their jahil. For their ignorance. of course. Banu Hashim were known for their shuja'a. Banu Umayyah were known for their cowardice. Amir al-Mu'mineen chased one of them. <laughs> and the only way he got rid of Amir al-Mu'mineen was to undress himself. <laughs> Banu Umayyah. Allah. <clears throat> Banu Umayyah lacked anything that existed within Banu Hashim. In fact, I say they had the total opposite. Ilm in Banu Hashim, Jahl in Banu Umayyah. Yes. Shuja'at in Banu Hashim, cowardice in Banu Umayyah. Banu Umayyah. Sakhawa generosity in Banu Hashim. Subhanallah. Nehdari! Ya Ali! Sakhawa of Ahlul Bayt. Sakhawa of Banu Hashim. Amir al-Mu'mineen was asked, Ya Ali, who was more sakhi? You or Hatim al-Ta'i? Because Hatim al-Ta'i would give from 40 doors of his palace. Amir al-Mu'mineen says, I am more generous than Hatim al-Ta'i. They said, why Ya Ali? He says, because I would give enough from the first door, he wouldn't knock on the second door. Subhanallah. Banu Hashim known for the Sahaba. 
Banu Umayya known for their Kanjusi, stageless. <laughs> bismillah, bismillah. Every good quality that existed within Banu Hashim lacked within Banu Umayyah. <laughs> For this reason, the leaders of Banu Umayyah decided to fabricate a hadith to lower the daraja of Ahlul Bayt. <laughs> to bring Ahlul Bayt at the same level as the enemies of Ahlul Bayt. <laughs> But Allah is asking, do you consider the Alim at the same level as a Jahil? No alim is Ali ibn Ali Talib. Jahil is the enemy of Ali oh, yes. ibn Ali Talib. Yes. Do you consider the Mu'min at the same level as a Fasiq? No. Mu'min is Ali ibn Ali Talib. So. Fasiq is enemy of Ali ibn Ali Talib. In fact, this distinction exists that until the day Imam Zaman makes his return, the only way to distinguish Imam from the rest of them that Imam will be Alim, Imam will be Mu'min, Imam will be Shuja, Imam will be Sahi, and his enemy will have the total opposite quality. Everyone with me, inshallah. Bismillah. 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 You see, I and my Ahlul Bayt, though there were many fabrications of a hadith, known as Ja'l al hadith or Wad al hadith where they would fabricate a hadith against Ahlul Bayt. Allah. But Ahlul Bayt were given two types of merits that distinguish them from the rest of the Ummah. One was their merits, their fadail, which were mushtarak or shared by the rest of the A'imma and shared by the Anbiya Allah, the Prophets of God. However, then Ahlul Bayt were given another type of merit, fadila, virtue, fazail, which were khas for Ahlul Bayt. Subhanallah, subhanallah. Khasais al-Alawiyya. Khasais al-Husayni. Ulama have written books on fadail which are khas for Ahlul Bayt. Subhanallah. Actually, wow. Sheikh Ja'far al-Shushtari has written a kitab, Khasais al-Husayniya, <laughs> focusing on the fadail which are khas for Imam Hussein. Subhanallah. So, there is a book name of, by the name of Khasais al-Alawiyya, <laughs> fadail which are khas for Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen. Subhanallah. So, let me explain. You see, all of the prophets of God, peace and blessings be upon all of them, had certain fadila, certain fadail which were shared amongst all of the Anbiya Allah, yeah. all of the Rusul, all al Azm. Yeah. For example, Isma, infallibility. All of the prophets of God were ma'soom. Anbiya Allah are ma'soom. But then there are certain qualities that are given to them on top of that. In other words, all of the Anbiya Allah are all ma'soom. They, they do not commit mistake. No. They do not make sin. No. But then there are certain fazail which are given to them as khas for them. <laughs> Nabi Adam alayhi salam was known for his ilm. They Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah. وَعَلَّمَ الْعَادَمَ الْأَسْمَاءَ كُلَّهَا Allah says, I taught Adam asma kullaha. The kull means all, mutlaq. Every ilm, every ism of Allah. Wa'allam al-Adam al-asma. I taught Adam all of my asma. All of my knowledge. Kullaha. Imam Batr alayhi salam says, do not. La. Ahlul Bayt preached, but for a muhtasar time. Nabi Nuh, no one preached like Nabi Nuh. 950 years, the Quran says, was just the age of his tabliq. Allah knows how long he lived. Allahu Akbar. But despite that, you know why he's known for hell, for forbearance? 950 years, he struggled 
but only a handful boarded the ark of the Safina. Only a handful. Yeah. But Nabi Nuh never made any land upon, the, upon his ummah. He is known for his hill, for his forbearance. Subhanallah. Adam known for his hill. Nabi Nuh knows, known for his hill. In fact, Nabi Musa was known for his power, his qudra. Yeah. That when he punched one of the criminals of Fir'aun, he ended up dying. It's in the Quran. Nabi Yahya is known for his zuhad, his taqwa, his piety, his righteousness, his ibadah. In other words, I conclude, all of the Anbiya Allah have certain fadail which are shared, but then they have certain fadail which are khas to them. But then, Rasulullah says something very beautiful. You know where I'm going. Rasulullah says, Man arada, man arada, man arada an yandura ila adama fi ilmihi, wa ila nuhan fi ilmihi, wa ila yahya, wa ila yahya fi zuhdihi, wa ila musa fi qudratihi, fal yandur ila aliyya ta'ayya. Any one of you who wants to see Adam in his ilm, who wants to see Nuh in his ilm, who wants to see Yahya in his zuhd, who wants to see Nabi Musa in his qudra, in his power, look towards my brother Ali. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, MashaAllah. For all of the kamalat, all of the sifat, all of the perfections that exist, divided, separate in the Anbiya Allah, are collected in one Ali. Subhanallah, Subhanallah, MashaAllah. All of the sifat and kamalat within the Anbiya, the perfection, the qualities that Allah has divided between the Anbiya. Allah has collected them in one Ali ibn Abi This is the khas fadila of Imam Amirul. Ali ibn Abi Talib has been blessed in a way unlike others. You still consider the Mu'mi at the same level as a Fasiq? No. Do you still consider an Alim at the same level as a Jahil? Alim has ill. No chance. Jahil just speaks. Yep. They are not equal. Amir al-Mu'mineen was blessed with qualities no matter how much someone like Muawiyah would hide and fabricate a hadith against Imam Ali ibn Abi Talib. The biggest propaganda machine against Banu Hashim was Muawiyah. For he would pay to fabricate a hadith against Ahlul Bayt. Ayatollah Shaykh Abdul Hadi Al Fazli Marhum has a kitab, Usul Al Hadith, in which he has written in detail the steps that Muawiyah took to ridicule Banu Hashim. To not only make fun of Banu Hashim, the same fada and merits that exist for Ali ibn Abi Talib duplicate them for the enemies of Ali ibn Abi Talib. But the man has written, unfortunately, I don't have time for that. Moving on, Ali al Mu'minin. Allah has made a distinction until the day of judgment. If you want to beat Ali, bring someone better than Ali. If you want to beat Quran, bring someone better than Quran. If you are in doubt, in kuntum fi raybin mimma nazalna ala abdina fa'tu bi suratin min mithli. If you doubt what I have revealed on my abd Muhammad, bring one surah like the Quran. Subhanallah. Allah says you can't bring a surah, bring one ayah like the Holy Quran. <laughs> For no matter if jinn and insan try, they will never be able to beat the Holy Quran. <laughs> if jinn and men try, they will never be able to bring anyone in comparison to Imam <laughs> Ali. <laughs> Ali Quran <laughs> Quran Ali is with Quran, is Quran is with Ali. Ali al Haq wal Haq Ali. Ali is with the truth and truth is with Haq. Truth is with Ali. Then Rasulullah makes a dua. He doesn't stop there. He says, Ya Allah, Yadur Haythu Ma Dara Ali. Oh Allah, turn Haq in the direction which Ali is. Subhanallah. Jaman Jaman Kali Kali. Ali 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 Ali. Nagar Nagar Gali Gali. Ali Ali. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa alihi Muhammad Ayat Surah
Surah Al-Bara was revealed upon the Holy Messenger. Bismillah. Surah Al-Bara is another name for Surah Al-Tawbah in the Holy Quran, Surah number 9. The only Surah that begins without Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Why? Because Allah threatens the Mushrikeen in Surah Al-Tawbah. One of the harshest Surah of the Quran is Surah Al-Tawbah. Also known as Surah Al-Bara. Allama al-Hilli Marhum Rahmatullah alayhi in his kitab Kashf al-Yaqeen fi Fadail Amir al-Mu'mineen narrates the following riwayah which I am about to narrate. Allama al-Majlis in his Bihar wal-Haq al-Yaqeen. Allama al-Hilli is buried in the Haram of Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen. The book is a beautiful book. He says, Surah al-Bara was revealed upon the Holy Messenger of God as Wahi. The Messenger of Allah was instructed to send someone towards Makkah to recite Surah Al-Bara towards the Kuffar of Makkah, to Kuffar of Quraysh. He sends the first Khalifa to go and recite towards the Kuffar of Quraysh the ayat which threatened the Muslim. And they were not easy ayat to recite. Especially when you are entering someone's hometown and challenging them. Makkah was under Kuffar of Quraysh. Mm. Medina was under the Muslims. Mm. Rasulullah Rasulullah sends him. It is said, Alam al Hindi writes in his book that he, the first Khalifa, he walked three days and three nights to reach the vicinity of Makkah. So he walked three days and three nights to reach the vicinity of Makkah. As he gets close, to Mecca, Jibreel descends upon Rasulullah with another ayah. And he says, Ya Rasulullah, Ya Habib Allah, Ya Nabi Allah, Allah is sending you his salam. And Allah has an important message to give you that no one can make this announcement to the mushrikeen of Mecca, illa anta aw rajulun minka. Except yourself or someone like you. No, Allah. Except you yourself, Ya Rasulullah, or a rajul minka, or a man who is from you. Now you understand, Ali yun minni wa ana bilad Ali. No, Allah. Subhanallah. Hussein yun minni wa ana bilad Hussein. He says, Ya Rasulullah, no one can deliver to the kuffar of Quraysh except yourself, or rajul minka, except and a man that is from yourselves. A man that is like you. Rasulullah says, in that case, bring me my brother Ali ibn Abi Talib. <laughs> Imam Amir al-Mu'minin comes saying, Labbaik ya Rasulullah. He says, Ya Ali, take, go catch up with him and take Surah Al-Bara from him. Fakhuz min yadi, take from him. Irkab naqati ya Ali. Take my naqa. Naqa is a she camel. Take my naqa. Catch up with him and take from him the Surah Al-Bara, the Ayat of Quran. And give him two options. Option number one, that he can accompany you and enter Makkah. Option number two, if he refuses, he shall come back to Medina. Three days and three nights he walked. Amir al-Mu'mineen riding the naqa of Rasulullah catches up with him overnight. <laughs> and he says to him, stop. The messenger has given the duty to me. Your mission is finished. He says, what happened? He said, Rasulullah has given you two options. Either you come with me and we deliver the message together. Or you go back to, Ma uh, go back to Medina to Rasulullah. He says, I will choose the second option. He didn't want to accompany Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen. Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen says, fine. He returns back to Medina. I want everyone's attention on this. Bismillah. He returns back to Medina. You know the first thing he says to Rasulullah? <coughs> he says, Ya Rasulullah, what happened? Why the change of decision? Did an ayah come down for me? <laughs> has the Allah sent an ayah for me? <laughs> Rasulullah says, no. But another ayah has come for my brother Ali ibn Abi Talib. <laughs> <laughs> Ali ibn Abi Talib has another ayah revealed for him. Subhanallah. <laughs> You see, many of the Sahaba, many of the companions would wait eagerly for an ayah to come down for them. Why? Because they would see Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen 
sleeps in the bed of Rasulullah, Allah reveals an ayah. وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَسْرِ نَفْسَهُ بِابْتِغَاءِ مَرَضَاتِ اللَّهِ وَاللَّهُ رَعُوْفٍ بِالْعِبَادِ Imam sleeps in the bed, Allah sends down an ayah. Imam Amir al-Mumin gives his ring in charity in the, in the halat of ruku. Allah says, إِنَّمَا وَلِيْكُمُ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ وَالَّذِينَ آمَنُوا الَّذِينَ يُقِيمُنَ الصَّلَاةَ وَيَكُونَ الزَّكَاةَ وَهُمْ رَاكِعُونَ Amir al-Mumin and Ahlul Bayt give sadaqah, give food for three days and fast. Allah reveals Surah Al-Hala'ada. Ahlul Bayt gather under the kisa Yamani. Allah says, إِنَّمَا يُرِيدُ اللَّهُ لِيُرْحِبَانُكُمُ الرِّسَاحِ لِلْبَيْتِ وَيُتَحِرَكُمْ تَكْثِيرًا اللَّهُمَا صَلِحْ عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَعَلِي مُحَمَّدٍ Rasulullah says no Allah has said only I can do that job or someone who is from me and there is no one from me except Imam Ali Imam Amir al-Mu'mineen enters Mecca he recites ayat of Surah Al-Bara'ah Ayat which threaten the mushrikeen. The mushrikeen are najis. Innama al mushrikeen are najis in Quran. The mushrik will not be able to allow, will not be allowed to enter the vicinity of the Kaaba. Because the Kaaba is haram Allah. Bismillah. Najaf is haram al Amir al Mu'mineen. Karbala is haram Imam Hussein. Mashhad is haram Imam Raza. Medina is haram Rasulullah. Kaaba is haram Allah. Aha. Subhanallah. He says, Imam Amir al-Mumini says, no Muslim will enter the vicinity of the Kaaba. No Muslim will make tawaf of the Kaaba without any clothing. For they used to do tawaf of the Kaaba, Uriyanu, without any clothing. Imam Amir al-Mumini says, no one will enter the vicinity of the Kaaba. Imam Amir al-Mumini delivers the message he leaves. One of the companions of Imam Amir al-Mumini by the name of Sa'sa ibn Suhan, he asked Imam Amir al-Mumini, Ya Ali, man afzal anta aw Musa? Oh Ali, I have a question. Who is greater, you or Musa? Imam Amir al-Mumin refuses to answer. He says, self-praise is haram in the religion of Islam. You cannot praise yourself. Allah does not like a man who praises himself. All praise belongs to Allah. But then Imam Amir al-Mumin recites an ayah of the Quran saying, Whatever ni'mat your Rabb has given you, fahaddis, narrate to the people. Tell the people the ni'mat Allah has bestowed upon you. Imam Amir al-Mumini says, Ya Sa'sa ibn Suhan, it is true Musa was known as Kaleem Allah. Musa was Kaleem Allah. Musa would speak with Allah whenever he desired. Allah would speak with Musa. Musa and Allah would make kalam together. But Ya Sa'sa ibn Suhan, do you know when Allah asked Musa to return back to the city towards Pharaoh and make da'wah and tabliq, Musa was fearful, he hesitated. Do you know why? He says in the Quran, Surah Al-Qasas, قَالَ رَبِّ إِنِّي قَتَلْتُ مِنْهُمْ نَفْسًا Oh my Lord, I have killed one of the Ali Pharaoh. For Musa punched one of the criminals. He was a criminal. He punched and he died. Musa was known for his khudra, for his power. The punch of Musa had such a force that when Musa punched a criminal, a murderer, he fell to the ground and he died. But, and then Musa left the city. Allah says, Musa returned back to Fir'aun and make tabligh, make da'wah of Allah. He says, Oh my Lord, inni qataltu minhum nafsan. I have killed one of them. And then he says, Oh my Lord, I fear I fear that if I return back, they will kill me. They will put me on trial. They will charge me with wrong charges and put me on the death penalty. Ya oh my Lord, I fear. But my brother Harun, he is much more eloquent in his speech than me. Send. Send my brother Harun with me so that he may support me when I return back to Fir'aun. Subhanallah. Brothers, sisters, Imam Amir al muminin uses this ayah. He says, Oh, Sa'sa ibn Suhan, Musa had killed one person and he was fearful returning back to Fir'aun. He asked Allah to send his brother Harun as head. I was someone that every house 
say Mecca had fed, had fed the force of my Zulfiqar. Wow, wow, wow. Beshak. There was not a house in Mecca that did not want to take revenge from me. Someone's son had died for my Zulfiqar. Someone's uncle had died for my Zulfiqar. Someone's father, someone's grandfather had been murdered with my Zulfiqar. But oh, Sasa ibn Suhan, I did not ask Allah to send anyone with me. I entered Mecca. I climbed the roof of the Kaaba. I recited the ayat of Surah al balaha And I told the Mushrikeen that you are Najis and you are to leave the Haram of the Allah. And I came down. And this is the part that Imam Amir al-Mu'min explains. He says, Ya Sasa ibn Suhan, as I came down from the Kaaba, the more I advanced, the more the enemy backed off. Oh. The further I went within the enemy, the more the enemy backed off. Ya Sasa ibn Suhan, this is why I am greater than Mishra Subhanallah, Subhanallah. Musa asked for help. I did not ask anyone for help. Bismillah. For everyone wanted to kill me. Bismillah. Everyone wanted to take my take revenge from me. For they had felt the full power of the Zulfiqar in the battles. Bismillah. Imam Amir al muminin Ayyam Abdul Bayt, all of them remain distinguished. Bishak. All of them remain unparalleled, unmatched. <sighs> Sayyid. Al-Razi Marhum, Al-Alim Al-Faqib Al-Mujtahid, someone who is responsible for the compilation of Nahj Al-Bala. A Sayyid, an Alim Al-Faqib Al-Mujtahid, unlike other Mujtahideen. Buried in Kazamain outside the Haram, for those who have been to Ziyara, they have done his Ziyara. Sayyid Al-Razi, after compiling Nahj Al-Bala and studying the life of Imam Amir Al-Mu'mineen says, Wallah, it is difficult to find someone like Imam Amir al muminin Unmatched, unparalleled from every dimension and angle. That the more one studies the life of Imam Amir al muminin the more one's mind becomes baffled and confused. For Imam Amir al muminin was a personality and Sayyid al-Radi, Mujtahid, Alim, Faqih, says this and his understanding is far greater understanding than our understanding. He says, Amir al muminin was someone who had managed to collect contradictory qualities inside him. Ijtima'u mm -hmm. Zidayn. Ijtima'u Zidayn is wahal. Wow, 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 wow. Impossible. Whenever you have day, you cannot have night in the same zaman and magan. Wow, wow. Wow. Whatever is white cannot be black at the same time no. and space. No. But Amir al muminin was a personality, Sayyid al-Razi says, that when he was off the battlefield, he was the most humble. Wow. He was the most Zahid and Abid. He was the most pious and worshipping someone who had, no, who had no love for the dunya. You would find him in the corner of his house in the ibadah of Allah wa ta'ala. And he was someone, he says, I cannot understand Imam Amir al muminin we find Imam Amir al muminin when he is in his house, he's struggling to break dry bread. That he cannot break dry bread. But the same Imam Amir al muminin when he is in the battle of Khaybar, with one hand he lifts open the gate of Khaybar and throws it on the other side. Subhanallah. Wow. He says, Ali ibn Abi Talib is beyond comprehension. At home he cannot break bread. On the battlefield we see him opening a gate with Sheikh al Mufid, I told Sheikh Mufid says, 70 men would push it open and 70 men would push it close. Some one alim says 90 men would push it open or close. 70 or 80 doesn't matter, even if 10 men open and close it. It's heavy. It must be a heavy gate. It must be heavy. Sayyid al Razi says he cannot break bread at home, but he lifts open the gate of Khaybar. Oh. That shows that this Iman is not muscle. Iman. Subhanallah. This Iman, this power is the power of Iman. Yeah, beshak, beshak. Oh, Not necessarily the size of Amir al Mu'minin. Subhanallah. Qibla. Imam Sayyid al Sajjad Zayn al Abidin, Salamatullah wa Salam. Allah. 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 Allah.
Imam Salamullah Alay was standing in front of Yazid. The Darbar was decorated Imam. Uh, Yazid was sitting on the on the pulpit and all of his people were surrounding him. Imam Zayn Abidin with all of the caravan of Bibi Zaynab standing in front of him. A few words from the khutbah Imam Sajjad before I come to Masai. Look how Imam distinguishes himself in the court of Yazid. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. The ayat remains the same, that my topic is the same. Bismillah. Do you consider a mu'min at the same level as a fasid? No. Look how Imam Zain al Abidin introduces himself oh, oh, oh. in Damascus. Yazid asks one of his paid mullahs to take to the member on the pulpit and disrespect Al Mahdul Bayt, disrespect Imam Amir al Mu'mineen. He does so. Zain al Abidin looks at him and he says, Oh man, to please him, Yazid. You have displeased Allah. Wow, 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 wow. You have bought yourself a seat in hell. By pleasing the dunya, you have lost your akhirah. Oh, oh, oh. Do you not know who my father Ali ibn Abi Talib was? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then he says to Yazid, Oh Yazid, he has had his chance to speak. Now allow me to take, and subhanAllah, the, the riwayah. Baharul Anwar Alam Al Majlisi Mullah Mahdi Mazandarani in his kitab Mu'ali Al Sattain. They narrate that Imam Zainul Abdin refuses to call it a mimba because Abdul Bayt would disrespect it from that mimba. Oh. Imam Zainul Abdin says, Oh Yazid, let me go and stand on that structure of wood. Oh. Let me go stand on that piece of wood and tell you who we are. Oh. Allah Akbar. He does not call it a mimba. <coughs> and my teacher always says, the reason why Imam Zain Abidin did not call it member was because a member is not a member unless Fazayl of Ahlul Bayt. A member is not a member unless the manaqib of Ahlul Bayt are recited. Imam Zain Abidin says, allow me to take to that Salawat al-Muhammad. Mashallah, Mashallah. Imam Zain al-Abidin says, let me take to that structure of wood and explain to you who I am. <coughs> and then he, Yazid says, no, I cannot let you speak. But the tarikh, the history says, all of the people of Yazid turned against Yazid. They said, no, let him speak. Let us hear what he has to say. What can he do? He's a young man, 20, between 23 and 25. He's chained up. What can he do? He's a prisoner. Yazid says, no, you don't know them. You don't know them. They're Ahlul Ilm. If I let him speak, he will destroy Abu Sufyan. Of course. But they say, no, let him speak. It was the tarikh, the ulama said, the people of Yazid forced Yazid to accept. Yazid said, okay, speak. Two traditions I've seen. One tradition says, Imam took to the pulpit, mimbar, or the wooden structure. Yes. But he did not acknowledge it as a member. No. He stood in the first step. No. Another alim says he did not even stand on the member. Uh -huh. He stood next to the member. Uh -huh. Why? Because that member was used to disrespect Ali. Uh -huh. Ah, disgusting. Yeah. Eva Amir al stands next to it or stands on the first, whichever muarrif you go for. Imam Zain Abidin, few lines, Khutbah Imam Zain Abidin is too long, very long, Bismillah. just few lines and I come to Masai. Bismillah. Fazail Ahlul Bayt as Zawar Ahlul Bayt. This is Fazail Ahlul Bayt from Ahlul Bayt. Wow, wow. From a Khatib or a Zakir or Mawlana. Wow, wow, wow. From Imam Al Sajjad. Wow. Nara! Hayri! Imam Zain Abidin says, Ayyuhan Nas, man arafani faqad arafani. Oh people, those of you who know me, know me. Man arafani faqad arafani. Those that do not know me, let me tell you about my hasab and nasab. Let me tell you about my lineage and my family and my progeny. Who am I? Look how Imam Zayl Abedin begins to introduce himself. He says, من النبي المختار من الصديق ومن الطيار. Imam Zain Abidin says the first introduction 
that he uses to introduce himself is the Holy Prophet. Uh -huh. this one. From us is Nabi al Muhtar. Oh, from us is Siddiq Ali ibn Abi Talib. From us is Tayyar. And then he says, وَمِنَّ أَسَدَ الرَّسُولُ وَأَسَدُ اللَّهُ حَمْزَ عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامُ سبحان الله سيد الشهداء حمزة عليه السلام and then he moves on very quickly I don't have time for the whole khutbah my time is very short but just few lines before I come to Messiah and he said oh people we are the one who have the Prophet as an honor in our family we are the one who have Siddiq Ali the word may call Siddiq to someone and someone but Siddiq is Ali I am that Siddiq al I am that They said, Ya Ali, why does the Zulfiqar have two edges? Imam Abil Mumineen says, because it divides between Haq and Haq. I am that Siddiq and anyone who makes that claim that Dawah after me, Fahuwa Kazzar. He is a liar. Imam Zayn Abidin continues very quickly. He says, Ana ibn Makkata wal Mina. I am the son of Mecca and Mina. <laughs> you call yourself Muslims. I am the son of that Mecca. <laughs> what does he mean? He means we are the ones that are the true protectors of the Haram of Allah. Of course. Yazid attacked the Kaaba. Yazid attacked Medina. of Beishmar. Imam Zal Abidin says, I am the son of Mecca wal Medina, Mecca wal Mina, and of the Zamzam wal Safa. I am the son of Zamzam wal Safa. We are the one that honor Zamzam. We are the one that honor Safa. And of the Khairu man Tafa wal Sa'a. I am the son of the best man that ever did Tawaf in the Sa'i. I am the son of the best man that ever wore the Aba and the Qaba. I am the son of the best man that ever walked the planet Earth, Rasulullah. Uh -huh. Look at how Imam Zal Abidin Rasulullah so introduces himself. I am the man of, the, I am the son of the man uh -huh. who was sat on the burak and taken hill and hawa, uh -huh. taken uh -huh. towards the heavens. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I am the son of the man who was taken by Jibrail ila sidratil munta. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. I am the man. I am the son of the man uh -huh. who was taken to sidratil uh -huh. munta. Uh -huh. I am the son of the man who was closer to Allah than any other creation. <laughs> I am the son of the man who was considered the greatest creation of God. Subhanallah. Muhammad Subhanallah. Subhanallah. I am the son of Muhammad al Mustafa. <laughs> I am the son of Ali al Murtada. <laughs> Amir al Mu'mineen. Now he comes to Imam Amir al Mu'mineen. I'm going very quickly. Bismillah. As time is short. Look at how Jewish Imam Amir al Mu'mineen. I am the son of Ali ibn al Murtada. I am the son of Ali ibn al I am the son of the one. Who fought the enemies of Allah? Hatta qalu la ilaha. I am the son. I am the son of the man who fought the enemy, did jihad until they were forced to say la ilaha illallah. And there is no god but Allah. Subhanallah. An abnu, an abnu, an abnu man darba bina yaday Rasulillah be sayfain. I am the son of the one who fought with Rasulullah with two swords. Wataala bi rumhain. Who stabbed the enemy with two spears? حاجر هجرتين بايع بيعتين قاتل ببدر وحنين. I am the son of the one who migrated twice, who gave allegiance twice, who prayed towards both of the Qiblatain, Masjid Al-Aqsa and Masjid Al-Haram. I am the son of the one who was known for his jihad, for his war around Rasulullah, Imam Amir al-Mu'minin. And I come to the end. Look at how Imam Salamun Laila is introducing himself towards the people of Yazid. I am the son of that man who would stab the enemy with two spears, attack them with two swords in the Battle of Badr, fought the Ahlul Badr, fought the Ahlul Hunayn, champion of Badr and Hunayn, fought the Malikina, Wal Nakifina, Wal Qasitin, fought the enemies in Jamal, fought the enemies in Nahrawan, fought them in Sifin. That was my father. And he says, My father, skipping many lines coming right to the end. He says, We are the one that are the true inheritors of Mashra'in. We inherited that. Abu Sifdain and Hassan Iwal Hussein. Hada Zaka Jadu Ali of Nabi Talib. This is my grandfather Ali of Nabi Talib. This was being said in front of 
the people of Yazid in front of the women of Ahlul Bayt, Lady Zainab, Bibi uh, Sakina, Um Kulsum, Ubaab, Um Farwa, all of them. Imam Sajjad is introducing himself and distinguishing himself from the rest of the crowd. Imam Zainal Abidin, I end with this final line here Subhan in Kumasai. Subhanallah. Imam Salamullah Alayhi says, I am the son of that. Subhanallah. 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 It is us that honor the Kaaba. Beshak, indeed. Brothers and sisters, I always say this line, and I perhaps said it in some of the lectures, and I make, I repeat, never think that Ali ibn Abi Talib was honored because he was born in the Kaaba. No, be sure. The Kaaba was honored because Ali was born in yeah, the Kaaba. Yeah, uh -huh. uh -huh. Allah says, I swear by this Balad, by this Holy Land. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh Prophet, yeah, uh -huh. I swear by the Holy Land uh -huh. as long as you are in the Holy Land. Uh -huh. I swear by the Holy Land, oh my Habib, oh my beloved Prophet. Because you are in the Holy yeah, Land. Allah. It is you that honor Mecca and Medina. Yeah, it is Ali ibn Abi Talib that honors the Kaaba. Yeah, yeah, Amir al muminin I'm Ahlul Bayt, distinguished themselves wherever they were, in the Darbar of Yazid. Imam Zayl al-Abideen introduces himself. This was the same Darbar in which Imam Zayl al-Abideen would face another tragedy, oh. <laughs> another musibah, another calamity, oh, oh. as if Karbala wasn't enough, oh. <laughs> as if Kufa wasn't enough. Oh. Imam Zayn al Abidin would lose his sister in oh. the of Yazid. <laughs> Sakina would not make it back to Medina. Oh. <laughs> Sakina would not make, you know, Bibi Sakina would ask her auntie Zainab again and again. Many of the Ramayah, many of the Umar are uh, <laughs> Bibi Sakina would ask Bibi Zainab a lot. Auntie Zainab, when will we return to Medina? Uh, <laughs> I miss my city. I miss my homeland. Most importantly, when will we get the chance of Ziyarat of Rasulullah? Uh, the cover of Rasulullah. When will we return back towards Medina? Uh, if there was one person that really wanted to return to Medina, that was Sakina. Uh. But Sakina would never see Medina again. Until today, Bibi Sakina remains in Damascus. Uh. She remains in Shah. Brothers and sisters, the Maktal states, uh, Bibi Sakina would cry day and night in the prisons of Shah. One day, Yazid Malhoun was, awo was awoken. He heard the screams of, of Bibi Sakina. Uh, he asked his people, who is this crying? Uh, Where are these screams? They say to him, oh Yazid, this is the three-year-old Yatima of Hussein. Uh, this is the Yatim daughter of Hussein. He said, what does she want? They say she wants the head of her. She wants to, she wants to meet her father. Uh, Why? Because Sakina could not sleep unless she slept on the chest of Allah. <laughs> Imam Hussein could not sleep until Zainab would sleep on the chest of Abdullah. Sakina would sleep on the chest of Abdullah. But who would tell Sakina that the chest of Ali Abdullah was desecrated under the horses of Madhubaya? Who would tell Sakina that the father's head had been severed? Yazid says, Yazid says, fine, hey. to keep her quiet, go give the head of Hussein to Sakina. Hey, hey. These people prepare the head, they cover it with a cloth, hey. and they take the head in front of Sakina, yeah. and they say, we have brought you something, Sakina. Hey, she hey. looks at it, it's a tray covered in a cloth. Hey. She says, I'm not hungry, I don't want food. Hey. I don't want water. Do you know what they say? They say, this is your father, Hussein. Uh. <laughs> she removes the cloth. She sees the head of Allah. Uh. The Maktan state, she throws herself uh. on the head of Abi Abdullah. She begins to cry. She says, oh, father, father, who cut your face? Uh. Oh, father, father, who cut your face?
बुलंदाबाद से सलवार पड़े
तहकीक हम खुदा की तरफ से आए है और उसी की तरफ पलट जा रहा है अजीज बगान से तबलीग मैंने ये दो मिनट मांगे आपसे मौत हक है मरने के बाद की तैयारी कर लो वाह वाह मरने बना मौत के बाद की तैयारी क्या है मैं नहीं कहता कि हर वक्त नमाजें पढ़ो नहीं कहता हर वक्त जुका दो नहीं कहता खुमस दो बस एक बात कहूंगा कोशिश करें अल्लाह और अजबैद को राजी अगर वो नमाज से राजी होते हैं तो नमाज पढ़ के राजी अगर वो जवारी करके राजी होते हैं तो जवारी करके राजी क्या बात नमाज तो वाजिब है आप हमने पढ़ दी बेशक बेशक लेकिन आज मैं एक नुस्खा बताता हूँ जिससे खुदा भी राजी होगा जिससे रसूल भी राजी होगा जिससे आपको जन्नत मिलने की उम्मीद भी होगी आपकी तोबा भी कबूल होगी वो नुस्खा बताऊ मुफ्त दो चीजों से प्यार करें एल बैद से और वाले से राजी करना है तो वाले को राजी और वाले राजी हो गए तो अहले बैद राजी हो जाएंगे क्या बात मैंने आपसे मांगे हैं दो मिनट चेहरा देख के उसको गुस्सा आ जाता हो अल्लाह उसकी नमाज कोई रोजा ना मेरे साथ बोले चूंकि ये एक दो मरूम औरतों की थोड़ी सी चीज पे राजी होते हैं वो भी बता को देख के मुस्कुरा लो मारा दुनिया का बदमाश तरीन बेटा हो बदमाश तरीन माँ कहती है मेरे दिल का टुकड़ा कोई आपको सलाम न करे हर कोई दुखा करे माँ आपको गले लगा देगी बाप आपको घर से आने से मना कर देते मिजाज सख्त होता है बाप का तबलीग के लिए आपको सुधारने के लिए करता है माँ रात तोड़ के चोरी चोरी आपको बिस्तर भी देगी कुंडी भी खोलेगी खाना भी देगी आ? क्या है? तो प्लीज मरने से पहले ये दो काम कर ले और एक और नुस्खा भी पता तो हमारा होना क्या चाहिए शीयों का दीन अस्त गुस्सा है हमारा दीन होना चाहिए हुसैन क्या मैं जुमला कहने जा रहा हूँ हाई पता है जुमला अगर आपने समझ लिया खुश हो जाए हमारा शीयों का दीन होना चाहिए हुसैन मुफ्त सा इससे बड़ी कोई चीज ही यानी मैं लपेट रहा हूँ पूरा समंदर एक लक्ष में जमा कर किबला हमारा दीन होना चाहिए हुसैन और हमारा ईमान होना चाहिए अली दीन हुसैन हो क्या बात है अली आप बताएं भला इन दो चीजों को अगर संभाल के रखें तो दुनिया की कोई ताकत आपको फतेह कर सकती है बाकी इंसान से कोताहियां भी होती हैं गैर शरी काम भी हो जाते हैं लेकिन अगर आप माफी के तलबगार हूँ अब मैं वो जुमला मुकम्मल कर अगर आप चाहते हैं कि आपकी तोबा भी कबूल हो तो वालदेन को राजी कर लो खुदा राजी हो जाए क्या बात है बेशक क्योंकि दीन हुसैन है हमारा हुसैन दीन ने बताया हुसैन ने बताया कि जिस पर माँ बाप नाराज है कैनात का बेहतरीन नेक इंसान हो अगर माँ बाप का दुख कारा हुआ है तो मेरी जियात नहीं कर सकता जन्नत की खुशबू भी नहीं सुनता 
जब हुसैन की जियारत नहीं कर सकेगा तो जन्नत तो कहाँ भला हुसैन प्रसाद करेंगे कि मेरा ना मानने वाला जिसका मैं दीन हूँ वो अपनी माँ बाप को नाराज कर आए, आए, आज मैं एक माँ का जिक्र करना चाहता हूँ किसकी माँ हुसैन की
ਉਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਨਾਲ ਨੇ ਦੱਸਿਆ ਮਾਂ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਤੁਰ ਗਈ ਓਹ ਹੁਣ ਮੈਂ ਜੁਮਲਾ ਪਿਆ ਪੜਦਾ ਅਲਾ ਮਜਾ ਸ਼ਾ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਬਿਸਮਿਲਲਾ ਉਹ ਫਰਮੈਂਦੇ ਦੋ ਸ਼ਹਿਜ਼ਾਦਾ ਦੇ ਅਮਾ ਵਿੱਚ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਤੇ ਹੈ ਓਹ ਹਸਨ ਦੌੜੇ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੜਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਜੁਮਲਾ ਅੱਲਾ ਦੀ ਕਸਮ ਮੈਂ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਚ ਦੂਸਰੀ ਵਾਰ ਪਿਆ ਪੜਦਾ ਬਾਅਦ ਵਿੱਚ ਮਾਸਾ ਪੜਦੇ ਫੇਰ ਕਿ ਉਸ ਹਸਨ ਦੌੜੇ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਦੌੜੇ ਹਾਏ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਤੇ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੇ ਦੀ ਕਬਰ ਤੇ ਬੈ ਕੇ ਜ਼ਮੀਨ ਤੇ ਨਾਰੇ ਜਵਾਬ ਲਈ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਕੇ ਬੈਠਾ ਲੱਗਦਾ ਹੈ ਮਾਂ ਦੁਨੀਆ ਤੋਂ ਟੁਰ ਗਈ ਵਿਰਾਟ ਪੁਰਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਵਰ ਹੁਸੈਨ ਗਰੀਬ ਜਵਾਬ ਲਈ ਨਾਨਾ ਜਿਸ ਵੇਲੇ ਦਾ ਸੁਣੇ ਨਾ ਤੂੰ ਦੱਸੇ ਬੈਨ ਜੋ ਮਰ ਟੁਰ ਗਈ ਹੈ ਮੇਰੀ ਅੱਖੀ ਤੋਂ ਨਾ
Ya 